thanks for joining me today. Today I have a nail polish show and tell. I'm going to swatch some colors for you. Um, I got some messages about the color that I was wearing a couple of days ago. This is called Impromptu Blue and it's by Sally Hansen. It's the Insta Dry formula. I really like this color. This is sort of like a bluish, the hint of purple in it. It's not really purple, but it's not quite blue. I really like this color. Blue is my favorite color. And um, yeah, so that was the Impromptu Blue by Sally Hansen. And again, it's the Insta Dry formula. And this, when you apply your first coat, it dries, I really think, within like 60 seconds, between 30 and 60 seconds. The drying time is really, really fast on the first application. But I usually uh, polish my nails twice before I put the clear on. And so after that, I think you need to give it maybe like another two to three minutes before they're completely dry. And that's still fast compared to regular nail polish. So I like the Insta Dry formula. And as you can see here, I have a lot of spring colors there. I'm going to be using those. Well, those are from last year anyway. I am. Um, I really like the formula. And I like polishing my nails. So I got, I got a full range. I think I have in total about 22 or 23 bottles of the Insta Dry nail polish, the different colors from the fall, the spring, the summer, even the winter collection, which usually for me is the darker, brown, uh, darker, not browns, I'm sorry, the darker blacks or the really dark, dark blues. When I say darker blacks, I mean darker, the black with a hint of another color in it, which I'm going to show you. So let me just show you how I keep all those nail polishes in this little box right here. And this box is just simply a old sunglass case, old Chanel sunglass case. That, and it's very sturdy, so I didn't really want to throw out the box. I could use it. And so I just fit all my nail polishes in that, and they can all fit in there at one time. But these four I left out because these, these are the four I'm going to talk about because you guys asked me about, you wanted me to swatch my whole collection, but it's going to take a long time to do that. And this is not the only nail polish collection I have. I do have other brands that I like, like Essie. I like that a lot. And um, But anyway, this is my favorite. The Sally Hansen Insta Dry is my favorite. So without further ado, I am going to swatch the um, Impromptu Blue. This is number four, 435. And again, I'm going to swatch it on an envelope for you, a white envelope so that you can see the color. And again, I said this is like a blue with a hint. To me, it has like a hint of purple in it. I don't know, just a little drop of purple to make it not quite blue. So I'm going to show you that. This is the color right here. And from my camera, this is the color. This is what it really looks like, this color right here. It's really a nice blue. And that's the Impromptu Blue. The next color I'm going to swatch for you is, uh, let me shake it up guys. Is a, This color is called Blazing Blue. This is a dark greenish blue. It's very dark greenish blue. I see purple also I'm looking through. It's a more than a dual chrome. I think it's a trichrome nail polish. I see blue. I see hints of green. I see purple. So let me just shake that up a little bit for you and I'm going to swatch it. This is it. And this really now just looks like a navy, a navy blue. I hope it doesn't look black on your screen, but this is really like a dark navy. Yeah, I would say a little bit darker than navy. It's really dark. Okay, the next color I'm going to swatch for you is called Night Flight, number 380. This is another dark color. This is not black. This is a, a very dark I think a dark green. I just want to give it a little shake before I swatch it for you. This is what it looks like. Look how dark it is. Now with these colors, you definitely don't have to, I guess, buy the whole collection because they're so dark and they look very similar. But at the same time, each one has their own personality. And so, I mean, that's why I really wanted to get them. And this is like a dark green 
very dark green, like a midnight green. And these polishes do have a nice shine to it, although I have to say that I think when you apply two or more coats, you don't get a super smooth finish as you would if you used a regular drying nail polish. But what I did find is once you apply a clear gloss over top of maybe like if you polished it three times and you put a clear gloss over it, it does give the appearance of being a nice smooth application. Okay, so now the next color, the last dark color that I have, this is a greenish color. It's called Jumping Jade. Jumping Jade is number 22. And let me just shake that up for you and swatch it. This is a nice green color. Definitely lighter green than the color I just swatched for you. So let me put that back in there and I'm going to show you the color. This is it right here. And that's a nice color. And I hope you couldn't see it. hope it doesn't look black and dark. So it's a nice jade green. It's really, really pretty. And last but not least, over here I have my... Um, I have the Sally Hansen Hardest Nails Extreme Wear. I have not worn this yet. This is a black. Now, now I assume it's a black, but I haven't worn it yet. Let me just show you the name. That's it right there. This is not the Insta Dry formula. This is just a regular nail polish that's supposed to wear a very long, a very long time. And I, again, I haven't tried it, so I don't know about the wear of it, how long it wears before it chips or the application. So I'm just going to swatch that for you and it looks like it's definitely black and I do like the black nail polishes like I said. And let me just show you that. I couldn't find the black in the Insta Dry formula so I just picked up the extreme wear for you. Oh, for myself. And this is the black right here. Really pretty, nice and shiny. They're very nice. And last but not least, I want to show you this right here. This is called Dry and Go. And this is uh, by Sally Hansen also. And it comes with a dropper. And so this works like this. Once you apply your nail polish to your fingers, you can take this and just drop a couple of drops onto the polish and it dries even faster. And this does help it dry a lot quicker. And so, yeah, this is fun to use. This little bottle cost about, I think, $5. But again, all you need is a drop on each finger. And, you know, don't, don't overdo it. I think I overdid it a couple of weeks ago and it left the polish, I think, with a, a textured finish. So, I think, because I put too much on, all you need is a drop. Once you polish your nails, all you need is a drop. Just put a drop on. That's just, I'm just showing you as an example. You just put a drop on and then your nail polish application will dry very quickly. So yeah guys, those are my nail polishes for the fall. These lovely dark colors, I really do like them a lot. And they just, for me, they go with anything. They're really basic. Like I wore this today with a, a brown outfit. I've worn it with a, um, a, a bl blue outfit, of course. I wear it with black. Of course it goes with black. But I just think when you polish your nails, they just the color just goes with anything. So you don't have to match your 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 nail polish to your clothing or your makeup. I mean, you can if you want to, but you don't have to. And now with these nice colors coming coming back in for the spring, I'm going to be doing some lovely spring looks for you and um, make maybe be creative with my own nails, I don't know. So guys, that is it for the nail polishes. If you have any questions about anything, just leave them below. I'll be very, very happy to answer them for you. And so there, yeah, that's it guys. So you take care and be well. And I'll see you at the next video. Bye-bye.